Can you believe it? Another year has come and gone already and we are still second level management and survived another riff. We sure had a great year. I hope I get that bonus money from Verizon Vice President, Paul Sullivan, huh? Get real. Wake up and realize we work for Verizon not the Bell system anymore. I just don't understand. I did everything that was asked of me. They wanted higher productivity. I suspended every technician that did not conform. They wanted a lower no access rate. I suspended every technician that was not making the number. Just today alone I have suspended three technicians who did not convince the customer that the copper plant is dead and a fiber migration is the only way to have dial tone. Big deal. I placed a technician on an indefinite suspension because he told the customer he could put them back in service on the copper plant. So you suspended him for that? No, I suspended him because he did it, and now the customer will never migrate over. No one is going to mess with my bonus. When the big boss, Lowell McAdams says jump, all I ask is how high. Plus I know someday I will get the nod to join the good old boys club, wow. That really should score some real points with the big boys up top. But that why I will never go anywhere in Verizon. I could never kiss that much ass, look, I don't see it as ass kissing. I see it as maximizing my opportunity and putting all my hard work to get a college degree to work. Hey, did you hear what came down from Paul's office? No. What? Due to a heavy workload they will not be granting an early release again this Christmas Eve. Paul said that all the directors spoke at the company party last night and decided to once again really stick it to the union. Who cares? Am I supposed to feel bad for them? If it were up to me I would force them to work on Christmas Day. They don't deserve to even have a job here. I can't wait till I am a director so this way I can make sure every technician has to work. Christmas Day? These are the men and women who have worked around the clock to help get everyone back in service during the state of emergency. I think they have earned the opportunity to be with their families on Christmas Day. The fact they have to work a full day on Christmas Eve is completely wrong. Actions like this are the reason why no one gets along anymore. Hey pal, you better watch it. You are starting to sound like you drank the damn Union Kool-Aid. You better not let Paul hear you talk like that. He will bust you down to a first liner in the logistics department. No, I am tired of the way we have to treat people around here. It seems if you're not screwing someone over or stabbing someone in the back in Verizon you will not get a chance to advance in your career. What happened to respect, loyalty, integrity? These were the things that made working in the phone company great. Listen guy. 1980 Bell System called and they want their sob story back. Stop being spineless. I think it's great to screw the union over. After all, it said it right in the manager training manual, when in doubt blame the union. Well I am putting my foot down, I am going to let my managers release the technicians early today, see. It's weakness like that which prompted Paul Sullivan to set in safeguards, safeguards, yes. Safeguards for weak managers like you. He told the D.R.C. Director Terry Miner to open the floodgates and fill the workload to the max. Then load every technician with a full day's work. Yahoo I love IT. You know you are one sick minded bastard. I know. But if you think I am bad, Paul Sullivan is doing all this while he's on vacation. Now that's leadership. No that's what's killing Verizon. The humbug. This place makes me sick.